ISO 9001 disruption 253. Last year, in order to get recruitment and placement approval from Maritime Marine, from the Employment Ministry, and from all the different ministries that they think they know something about shipping, well, that's Spain, but how about in Mongolia or in China or every, everybody, every country has a new regulation about ISO 9001. Is it compulsory for being a recruitment and placement agency or not? In Panama, Singapore, everywhere. Then, same as the video I'm going to make about flag disruption. Why not get our act together regarding is it a requirement or not? We could later make another video about MLC disruption. Is it required or not? Well, from my point of view, now that all the Candina Group systems are under AI, we don't need ISO. Come on, very simple. We have compliance already. We better have. But if you think that it is required, then why don't you get your act together? International Maritime Organization, International Labor Organization, and United Nations, and so on, different countries, and say, yeah, nah, bo. What it cannot be is that this country says yes, that country says no. It's the same thing as the video of the endorsements. I do not accept Venezuela certificates. I do accept Panama certificates. I do not accept Peru certificates. I do accept these certificates. I do not. That certificate, come on, this is a digital planet. Let's show, show we are really fighting for goodwill, for reputation of the maritime sector. Let's do it yesterday, as we say in Bilbao. Bye. Thank you.